watching this. I'm Mackenzie 91 k and in today's video, we are going to be talking about my very ambitious fall TBR. My light in the background is pink. It looks pink on camera. I wanted to make it orange for like fall vibes, you know? It just, it does not show up on camera. The orange, for whatever reason, just does not show up on camera. And in person, it actually looks more red than pink. So, I don't really know what's going on there. So, my fall TBR probably consists of, of about 100 books. Which is a little bit ambitious for me. I'm definitely not going to get to all of these books. But if I were a, like, mastery, like, if I've mastered reading, I would read every every single one of these books and every single one of these books. I'm also going to have some Kindle Unlimited recs in here. So without any further ado, because I know this video is probably really, really long, let's get into it. I can be so right now I'm currently reading a book trilogy called The Prison Healer. It's really, really good. It's definitely not fall vibes. But after I get done with The Prison Healer, I'm going to pick up A Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm going to read the first three A Court of Thorns and Roses books. I have them. I'm looking at them on my shelf right now. Like, I have this one in my hand and the other two are literally right there. Then we are going to try to tackle at least the first few books in the Throne of Glass series. I have been wanting to read the Throne of Glass series for forever. But I'm just now deciding to read it because fall, in my brain, fall equals fantasy books. And I've been on a fantasy kick lately. Like the last few books that I've read have all been fantasy books and I just cannot get enough. So I plan on reading the first three Akatar books. Then maybe reading the whole Throne of Glass series. Maybe. And then once we finish Throne of Glass, I'm going to read the novella for Akatar, A Court of Frost and Starlight, then A Court of Silver Flames, and then the Crescent City series. But the Crescent City series is not on my TBR, just Akatar, the Akatar series, and um, Throne of Glass. So we'll see how far in I get. Hopefully, I will get pretty far into Throne of Glass before falls over. The next series that I'm going to talk about is on Kindle Unlimited and it is the Zodiac Academy. I've heard a lot of mixed things about this series. I've heard that it's really good but the writing is really bad. Which I'm not one to judge writing. I don't judge writing. If I like a book I'm going to read it. If I find it entertaining then I'm going to read it. Like that's how I pick my books is whatever is entertaining to me. I'm gonna read it. So we'll see with the Zodiac Academy, but all eight of the books, I think, are on Kindle Unlimited. So I'm gonna try out that series and then if I like it, I'm gonna buy them. The next series is a trilogy and it is the Serpent and Dove trilogy. This trilogy just it is really what ignited my fall TBR. This book is about a witch and a witch hunter and they have to like get married. I think that's gonna be a pretty cool fall concept and even the cover just like the cover first of all is really unique and beautiful and I think that it's literally like it's it's fall vibes 100% so there's three of these um I don't know if I'm gonna get through all of them but I do at least want to try out the first one and see if I like the series the next series is the most ambitious and I don't think I'm gonna get through the whole series in the fall and that is the shadow hunter series I at least want to try to get through the um, mortal instruments or at least the first three of the mortal instruments then we can go into like the infernal devices I put a reading order list over here there's like a bunch this is the one I'm gonna do it's like the one where you do like the first three mortal instrument books I think it's the published order and then you do the infernal devices stuff like that or you could do chronological order where you start with the infernal devices and then go I don't know there's a bunch of different ways you can read the shadow hunter book it doesn't really matter what way you pick. I'm just going to start with the mortal instruments. Hold on, my boyfriend is calling me. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Hi, vlog. 
Well, it's not a vlog, it's just a video, but oh well. So the next series that I'm gonna talk about is the Crave series. And if you guys don't know what the Crave series is about, it is about vampires. People compare it to the Vampire Diaries and Twilight a lot. I also might give Twilight a try. I do have the first Twilight book somewhere, but I am thinking about giving the first Twilight book a try. We'll see. We'll see. But also, Crave is on Kindle Unlimited. So if you want to give Crave a try, use Kindle Unlimited. I love Kindle Unlimited. I love having it. It's awesome. The next series is a trilogy again. And I've been waiting for months to read this trilogy. And that is the Carnival Trilogy. I have all three books. And I cannot wait to read this. I've held on to these books since probably January. I think I bought them in like January or February. And I'm so excited to read this trilogy. Like you have no idea. And then after I read this, I'm going to read Once Upon a Broken Heart. It's on the way. I actually bought it because I used to have uh, the hardcover, but it was the American hardcover. I just, I didn't like it. So I got rid of it. And then I got the cute paperback that's like, it's pink. Or at least I hope it's going to be pink because I thought it was so cute. I I cannot wait to have it. It's going to be so cute on my shelf. I already know. The next series that I'm going to read is going to be Harry Potter now. I have read most of the Harry Potter books. I've read the first three and a little bit of the fourth one. I haven't finished the fourth one yet so I'll probably end up finishing the fourth one and then finishing the series. Um, I love the Harry Potter world. I always read Harry Potter in the fall. We watched the first Harry Potter movie on Halloween. We've done it every single year but to read them in the fall time oh, it's just so it's like top tier <coughs> oh my god i caught a sneeze on camera heck yeah are we back are we good sorry my camera card was full my memory card was full so i had to fix that really quick but anyway we're on the next book now and this book i have also been saving i bought this book back in june and i have been saving it for the fall and that is the atlas six by olive blake um, i think it was Haley fam she said it was one of her favorite books that she had read she said that it was really good i cannot wait to read it i cannot wait for the second book to come out in like september it's about six students. They're competing to earn a place in the Alexandrian Society. The next book is Shatter Me. I've had the Shatter Me series sitting on my bookshelf since probably May. I want to read this book so bad. I've heard such good things about this. Um, right now, I feel like everybody's reading the Shatter Me series. Um, this book, it's it's giving fall, but I don't know if you would consider this to be a fall read. But it's giving fall mostly because of Juliet's power. Like, she has the lethal touch, um, meaning if you touch, if she touches you, you die. So that's an interesting concept. And I really want to see what Aaron Warner is all about. The next duology is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. The reason I want to read Six of Crows in the fall is mostly because the show and and I've been putting off Six of Crows, as you've seen in my previous video, I've been putting off Six of Crows for a little bit now, mostly because I think I'm afraid it won't live up to the hype. I really do want to try to read it in the fall, though, because Six of Crows just screams fall vibes. Next up is The Wrath and the Dawn. I've seen a couple of people put this on their fall TBR. I've done a lot of research on TikTok and I've seen a couple of people put this on their fall TBR. I could see it. I think that the concept of this could be a really interesting book. The book premise is this girl is marrying a guy. I think he's like a prince or something. No wife he's ever had has survived past the wedding night. But I think she does and she's trying to figure out like why she does and why he's doing that and stuff like that. The next book is actually a book I tried to pick up last fall and I didn't because the whole time I was reading it I was trying to compare it to From Blood and Ash 
and that is Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. Haley Pham just read this book. I believe she gave it at least five stars. Maybe four, but I think five. And ever since I've heard her talk about it again, it's just made me want to read it again. But I let it go last year because I had just finished From Blood and Ash. And I was obsessed with From Blood and Ash. I thought that that book was just it. I was never going to find another book ever again that I liked as much as From Blood and Ash. Which, by the way, From Blood and Ash is a really good fall read. I just didn't... I don't like where the story went, so I kind of stopped reading it. If you want to read From Blood and Ash, give it a shot. Um, it is an adult book, so do be wary that it is kind of dark. Anyway, back to Dance of Thieves. This is a YA fantasy, and it is a really good book. And I wish that I would have not compared it to From Blood and Ash, and I wish that I would have kept going because I know I would have loved it. Forced Proximity, Enemies to Lovers, The Girls a Thieves and they're trying to steal something I will try my best this is one of my more higher priority reads because I just want to finish it and see where the world goes. The next book series that I want to talk about is The Lunar Chronicles. Ever since I read The Renegades Trilogy by Marissa Mayer, oh my gosh, I just want to see if the rest of her books are as good as that series. And The Lunar Chronicles sounds like a really interesting set of stories. They're all on Kindle Unlimited, or at least I think the first two or three are. So I'm going to give them a shot, and then if I like them, I'm going to buy them. But for right now, I'm really, really excited to read The Lunar Chronicles. Alright, the next book that I'm going to talk about is called Incendiary. Incendiary. Incendiary? I think I'm saying it right, but I'm not really for sure. I seen a girl on TikTok who put this on her fall TBR. And she was like, read it, read it, read it. And she said that it is so good. And she had a bunch of other books on her fall TBR that were all also really good books. I was like, I trust this girl's judgment. We're going to buy it and we're going to give it a shot. So I did. I bought it from Book Depository because I don't like the US cover and I wanted the UK cover. Next book is Kingdom of the Wicked. I have heard so many good things about this book series. People love this book series. I've been hearing about this book series for a few few months maybe even a year now and I've been wanting to pick it up but I did finally purchase it for the fall and this book if you could put fall in a book this would be it it's about two sisters and they're witches I think one of them dies the other girl goes out for vengeance for her sister and stuff like that so it does seem like a really interesting concept so I cannot wait to read this. Next is the Never After series, specifically the first one. Um, I've had hooked on my TBR for forever, on my digital TBR, on my Kindle Unlimited. I've just never got around to it because it's a really dark book. And I'm not the type of person to read really dark books like back to back to back to back to back. But I'm going to give it a shot because I heard the romance in it was really good. And it's a Peter Pan retelling. And also in the fall time, fairy tales are just like my go-to for some reason. But it's on Kindle Unlimited. I think all of them are on Kindle Unlimited. But I know for sure that one is because it's in my library. The next series is a duology for the wolf. It's a... Little Red Riding Hood retelling, but it just sounds like a really interesting concept and Red Riding Hood definitely gives the fall vibes. So I wanted to look into giving it a try. I'm not completely convinced yet, but I think I'm going to try to give it a shot. The next book is Realm Breaker by Victoria Aviard. Realm Breaker is inspired by Lord of the Rings. Anytime I think of Lord of the Rings, I think of fall. I don't know why, but Lord of the Rings, it just in my brain, means fall. So, I wanted to read this in fall, and I think it's going to be a really fun, like, action-adventure story because of how, like, the friend dynamic is in this book. Pretty much these people right here are supposed to be, like, Avengers Part 2. 
if you will. Like a second group of heroes because the first group of heroes are gone and the world still needs to be saved. So these people team up and they're going to try to save their world. So I think it'll be a really fun action adventure but it is a pretty big book. We'll see how long this takes me to get through. Book series is called the Curse Breaker series and I only have the first book. I just got it and it is A Curse So Dark and Lonely. This is supposed to be like a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I've heard some mixed things on this series. I've heard that this series only goes downhill after this first book but I hope not because um, people speak so highly of Defy the Night by Bridge Kimmer. We'll see. I, I hope this series is good. I've heard really really good reviews or really really bad reviews so. The next book I actually almost forgot to put it on my fall TBR and then I started thinking about it and I was like this is such a fall book and that is Bone Cryer's Moon. This book is about a girl who is a fairy uh, person like she's the one that drives the boat or paddles the boat or however that works and she takes people to the afterlife but in order to come like a full farrier she has to kill her opposite it sounds like a really unique story and definitely enemies to lovers and if you don't know enemies to lovers it's my favorite i love enemies to lovers books the next book is a deadly education and this is giving harry potter it's about this school that um you train and you study for your final exam but your final exam is lethal your final exam could ex could consist of killing monsters stuff like that and if you don't pass well you know I would not want to go to this school personally, but the concept of the book does sound pretty good and it is giving Harry Potter. The last book I do have the actual physical copy, I just don't have it with me, and that is Furyborn. Furyborn is also a very interesting book. It's about two girls and they are like opposite timelines. Like it switches back and forth between time periods and one of the girls is like a queen and I'm not really for sure what the other girl is. It tells about how their lives are going to connect and how that connection means um, they could either end their world or save it I think. I'm excited for that book. I have the first two. Um, I need to get the third one. Um, there's three books in the whole series. It's a trilogy. The next books that I'm going to be talking about are standalones. Uh, we're still in the fantasy genre, but these are going to be uh, standalone fantasies. The first book is probably, as soon as it gets here, I'm probably going to decide to drop everything and read it because that's how excited I am for it. And it is Violet Made of Thorns. I heard about this book on Book Talk. I seen a girl um, unboxing, I think it was from Owl Crate or maybe Illumicrate or Fairy Loot, so one of the big subscription boxes. She was unboxing the book and the book cover was gorgeous. So I had to look it up and I, I started seeing people talking about it and the concept of it was pretty good. The main character is a witch. That's why I wanted to read it. Yep, it's going right up there, up top. Up top, main top of my TBR. And I think it's a standalone. I know that it, it just released, like that book just released. And I don't know if, she, if the author is going to make more, but we'll see. But if it's a standalone, I'm so excited for it. The next book is um, Enchantment of Ravens. I think this is going to be a Thay fantasy book. It's by an author named Margaret Rogerson, and I actually read sorcery of thorns by her and i liked it it was okay it just wasn't my favorite but people say that enchantment of ravens is so much better and actually i think it's a smaller book than this too so i'm gonna give enchantment of ravens a try it's on kindle unlimited so if you guys want to check it out it's on kindle unlimited the next book is the night circus this i probably maybe possibly i will pick this up either before or after Caraval because same sort of premise. There's a circus, it appears in like randomly or something like that. And it's like there's a duel going on between two magicians. I'm definitely gonna try to give this a shot this fall because so many people have said this is a fall 
book recommendation. The next book is A House of Salt and Sorrows. This book is the 12 Dancing Princesses mixed with a murder mystery. The sisters are, it's like a paranormal fantasy. The sisters, and there's 12 of them and they're dying at random, trying to figure out why they're dying and what's going on and see if she can stop it. The next book that I'm going to talk about is Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. It's an adult fantasy that is dark academia and anything to do with dark academia is ultimately in my opinion going in the fall. I've seen a lot of people put it on their fall TBRs so I wanted to give it a shot and see what I think about it. The next book is The Wicked Deep. This book I have seen just recently like literally today. I had seen people talking about The Wicked Deep today. Just the cover itself just like screams fall to me. And so many people are suggesting that you read it in the fall. They loved it. They love the fall vibes. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see what I think about it. And the last fantasy book is not on my TBR because I've already read it but the second book is on my TBR and that is Legendborn. Um, I talked about Legendborn in my last video. Okay so the second Legendborn book is called Bloodmarked and Bloodmarked is coming out in uh, November and I'm very excited. I've been patiently waiting for the second book. I did love the first book. I gave it four out of five stars. I cannot wait to read the second book. It's a dark academia King Arthur retelling. I cannot wait to see where the story goes because there's a little bit of a love triangle. Shh. And I cannot wait to see where that goes. Alright, that is all of my fantasy books on my fall TBR. Now we are going to get into the rest of the books on my fall TBR. There is a few mystery books. Well, mystery slash thriller. I can be the first book series is Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Um, I, I talked about this series in my last video and I said how I started it in December and I DNF'd it in January because it just wasn't what I was wanting. But now that it's fall, I feel in the mood to read this, especially now that I've got the second book and the third book is coming out. But it's coming out very, very soon and I cannot wait to read it. I cannot wait to read all of these books and have all of these books, even though third book is going to be a hard cover but I don't really care. These books are about a girl named Avery Grams and she inherits billions of dollars and a state, stuff like that. She doesn't even know the man that gave her that much money. But the problem is she has to live in the house with the family for a year in order to fully inherit that money and she got all of the money and the family got pretty much none so everybody's pissed at her. The next book series, but particularly the first book, I'm going to try to get through the first book, and that is Stalking Jack the Rippers. It's like a murder mystery, and it's set in the 1800s, um, and there's this girl she's part of like a forensics group that was very uncommon back then for a girl to be part of a forensics group but i think it was her uncle or maybe her grandfather or something was doing that and she was a part of it the next book series is a good girl's guide to murder this book is about a girl named pip and pip is going to try to uncover a murder that happened in her town like 20 years ago or something no five years ago and pip is going to try to see if she can uncover this murder and see if the guy that was supposed to have done it actually done it so really really interesting book people love this series i have saved it for the fall i'm actually going to see if i can get the uk paperbacks because i love them so much more than these but i really cannot wait to read this series the next series is a truly devious i don't really know much about that series other than the girl is like fbi agent in training and it's a murder mystery and that alone just seems like it's going to be interesting and the romance also seems like it's going to be interesting some mystery thriller standalones. If We Were Villains is the first one. 
it's a Shakespeare Dark Academia. We'll check it out. It's definitely um, on a lot more people's TBRs than I think any of the other books that I've mentioned so far. Next is Ivy and Ivy is on Kindle Unlimited. It's pretty much like Gossip Girl meets Pretty Little Liars. It seems like an interesting concept because of the comparison. I love Pretty Little Liars. I love Gossip Girl. So definitely want to give Ivy a shot. I don't really know if Ivy would be considered a mystery or a romance not really for sure the next book is the silent patient the silent patient is about a girl who supposedly kills her husband and then she goes silent for a few years and this doctor is trying to get her to speak again and try to see if she actually done it or not then there is the house of hollow i just seen this book today it's like a haunting modern fairy tale and next we're going on to the romance books I can be the only romance Just series that I have is the Raven Hood trilogy. I'm not really for sure what the Raven Hood trilogy is about. I've just seen it on a lot of people's fall TBRs and I was like, interesting, cool. We'll add it on mine and we'll see if I like it or not. The next book is a paranormal rom-com um, and it's The Ex Hex. It's about a girl who gets in a seriously bad breakup I think and all heck breaks loose. <laughs> I mean she's a witch so that kind of sounds like a funny concept to me. Um, it's, I think it's supposed to be pretty funny and it's supposed to be a really good book. It was book of the month's pick for October of last year and I wanted to read it last year. I just never got around to it but this year we are definitely reading it. The next book is Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. Just the cover alone, the orange just screams fall and it's set in dual timelines and one of the timelines is in October and plus this book is all over book talk it's all over everywhere um people love this book they rave about it they say that this is the best romance book ever so I want to see if it lives up to that the next book is another um paranormal rom-com and the book is called not the witch you wed um it's supposed to be another one of those funny rom-coms that have witches in a um, so I put it on here and plus it's got witch in the title so fall book Halloween book so we gotta check it out the next book is the X talk I don't know why so many people have this on their fall TBR the book cover is pink so it's not the cover it's about a group of friends and um, they want to start a, a, an advice podcast, but none of them have ever been in a relationship before, so they all fake date each other, which that alone just sounds so funny to me, and I'm addicted to podcasts, so I have to check out that book. The final book on my TBR is called Hollow Heathens. I just found this book today also, and everybody says that this is the perfect fall read. Like, nothing else can beat this book. So, it's on Kindle Unlimited. I wanted to give it a shot just specifically because it is on Kindle Unlimited and I wanted to see what I thought about it and if it's really the perfect fall read. And with that being said, that is my whole entire fall read. Oh my goodness, I have been recording for over an hour now. It is now past my bedtime, so I'm going to go to bed. Comment down below what is on your guys' fall TBR. Maybe give me some more recommendations for a fall TBR. Not that I need any more, but that they're all they're all there. They're all in here. I have every book known to man on my fall TBR this year. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe and click the notification bell so you will not miss a video because I'm planning on filming so many more videos because I'm so motivated. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you all next week. Bye!